today's video is going to be providing an introduction to Aptivo's project management solution. So Aptivo is quite a large platform. And what we want to do is we want to design this session for anybody who is either knows very little or nothing at all about Aptivo, but you do know that you're interested in a project management platform. So we're going to kind of give you a high level overview of what our solution is. Then we'll dive into what our project management offering does, because Aptivo does more than just project management. And then we'll dive into just kind of a couple of the key areas. So we'll talk about how to navigate around, get into the system and look at a project, how to go through, build out a project template, track some tasks, build out workflow. And we'll talk a little bit about the time tracking capabilities that we have built in. So with that, let's go ahead and let's start off just with what is Aptivo. So if you're brand new to the platform, Aptivo is an integrated suite of many different business management apps. And project management is just one of our solutions. So if you look at the overall product, what we have is this common set of collaboration tools, which many of which are common to project management, you know, a place to track notes or attach relevant files for a project or selling an, sending an email thread, like a project update out to the client or internally, or tracking meetings and activities and tasks inside of a project. So the idea is that all these common features are available inside of our projects app, which this is the workhorse of our project management solution, but they're also available in the entire system. So Aptivo is a completely cloud-based system. There's no per app pricing or anything like that. It's simply a per user per month price for access into the platform, and you'll choose which applications are right for you. When it comes to project management specifically, there's just a few apps that we consider part of the solution. So it's not like you have to add a bunch of apps at once. You can pick and choose one by one which apps are important to you. And as I mentioned, there's one app called Projects, which is really the core of everything but there's a few other really key players. So the employees app allows you to add your other users or contractors, bring them into the project. Then you can add appropriate customers and the contact details. If these are not internal projects, they're customer centric projects. Then we have time tracking inside of the projects themselves, but there's also a standalone timesheets app and invoicing is tightly integrated for billing. There's also other connections like the CRM and the quoting can directly launch projects and cases can be attached into projects but these are really the core of the solution. So within Aptivo project management though, that's what we're really gonna focus on. Now, when it comes down to Aptivo's projects, and if you're in the market looking at other project solutions, you know, what does Aptivo do? Because you know, there's a lot of things that fall under the big umbrella of project management. We, can, we classify our functionality into four areas, and it starts off with the basic of you know, program management or project data. Essentially, we like to call this kind of like the whiteboard replacement. You have a list of all of your projects, who owns them, their key statuses and dates, and it's just a place for you to go and list out what projects are going on. That's essentially the equivalent of having like a spreadsheet or a whiteboard of your projects in the office. Next category is getting into the actual workflow and the schedule behind the project, being able to create all these individual tasks and put schedules together ahead of time, have automated reminders go out or anything like that. That's all within the task management component. Then a lot of people use project management just for collaboration, where you just need a digital workspace where everybody can come together, share documents, files, notes, and activities, and anything else related to the project. The last area of functionality is time tracking. And this is where we do have built-in timers. There's the ability to come in just after the fact, say you spent a few hours on a task. We do have timesheets and approval capabilities, and there's directly integrated invoicing. So you can bill for your projects based on several different rates, which you know we'll talk about that once we get into the next section. But at a very high level, this is what's available inside of the Aptivo project management. OK, so now we're going to start moving into the application itself, because so today it's a very high level, fast paced overview. And we have these kind of three areas that we want to dive into. So we talked about the four core areas of functionality, but you know, we want to start off with, you know, a little hard to see here, but the basic navigation and just going through and seeing like, you know, what's inside of a project in Aptivo. So let's get out of the slide deck. Let's switch into the application and let's show you around. So right here, I'm on the main dashboard. Whenever a user logs into Aptivo, they'll see something different. So for you, those of you who are using only projects, which some of you might, or there's even certain types of users who only come in and submit timesheets like an outside contractor. What they'll see when they log in is different. So I come in and I see my agenda. It's all these activities and events that I have scheduled. So on the right, I have tasks, and some of these tasks might be a part of a project, like this one. But tasks could also be present inside of other areas of the system. 
So if I'm using the support apps, I'm using the CRM system, all of my tasks come together inside of one unified agenda. Some users, let's say if you were only using one of the apps, you'll see I've got my list of apps on top. So this will change, but you know, some users actually could navigate directly into the projects app right when they come into the system. So we'll click up here, we'll go into our projects and you start off by coming to a list of all of your projects. So we give you a bunch of different tools. This is the first kind of area functionality of that program management. They're just places for you to control, you know, when I'm viewing this list, how wide should this column be? That's a setting that you get to control. So you get to pick and choose exactly what columns that you'd like to appear here. On the left, you'll see I have different lists of my projects. So I can browse based on the status that they're in, how I'm billing for them, their priority, and you can create your own customized lists. So if I wanted to add my own list over here, it's called a view. I can simply click on this. It allows me to search and create a group of projects based on any criteria that I have. And then I can go and run that search and it'll give me a list of the relevant projects back. And I have the option to save it for a view later on. All of your data will go through this functionality. So even if you go outside of projects, you can do this with customers, deals, invoices, anything like that. And whenever you have a list of these projects, you can go and take action on them. So I can come in here and I can change fields in bulk or popular one is if sometimes you need to download a spreadsheet of your data. We can actually take all of our project details and immediately download them to a spreadsheet. And it'll take just these columns that we specified and the 27 projects that we have selected here. So that's kind of like the first little layer of Aptivo, just high level putting your data in. But then let's go ahead and let's bring up one of our projects. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly search for one. So I've got this Alameda City College and it's a project inside of our system. Now we're viewing the details of a project now and there's a bunch of other information. So previously we had tools to view a bunch of projects together. Now we're coming in here and what we have is there's this series of tabs on the top. The overview tab has all this basic field data. So this is beyond what we just saw in the list and you can do whatever you want. So we have extremely powerful field configuration in Aptivo, some of the most powerful out there. And it includes things like, you know, putting in simple drop down menus and being able to say yes or no. And what you'll notice is when I select yes on this, you can actually completely change the project form and you can have custom fields like this, which, you know, they actually allow you to search and select a contact from another app or even other data. So it's very, very powerful here. You can make this form look however you want. You can create function fields. So you'll see here, I can type in some financial values and it automatically calculates an output from there. You can choose whatever you'd like there. You can even create tables and such like this. So we just have very, very flexible field configuration. And then all the workflow and everything will actually be able to build around these fields. But you know, that's kind of the basis of your data is can think, kind of think of it like your spreadsheet data. Then what you have is all these other tabs. And this is where we get into the true collaboration tools and our task management capabilities and everything else. So there's actually a common set of features that are available everywhere. So for example, if I just want to know what is the history of this project, I can go into the newsfeed. It'll tell me everything that's been changed inside of here. So although it looks like everything's happening from Lori, this user, if you have many users in here collaborating together, this is just going to be a chronological breakdown of every update inside of the project. Whenever a task is created, somebody changes a field, adjusts a contact, anything like that. So you can always view the history of a project on the fly, but then there is like a general structure to the project. So there's some standard types of information, you know, on the main overview, it links out to, for example, a customer and a contact. And these are actually pulling from the CRM. So our system is all about these connections between the apps. And if you are, customer centric around your projects, you'll see that I can actually get all my details from the CRM, like phone numbers and address details. They're centrally stored here and I can get to them from project management. But that's not even relevant for everybody, but most people are gonna be building out teams for their projects of employees and or customers. So when I come here and I launch my project, you'll notice that I've got Lori on here. You will notice that there's a billing rate, which that's an optional feature. We're gonna step into that next. But I can come in here and I can add any other team members who are going to collaborate with me on this project. Then once we have team members on here, everybody can come in, we'll all be able to see the feed. But then as far as putting data in, you are able to post messages from this news feed, but more popularly, you're going to use the basic features like notes. 
So throughout the system, there's always a place where you can come in, we can do bullet points, you can take any sort of information, notes in project meetings, anything like that. And then when you input a note, it'll automatically timestamp it, it'll show who put that note into the system. So that way it makes it very easy for everybody just to have one big thread of communication. And of course, other than just raw notes, you might have files and images and such that you want to attach. So there's always a documents tab right here on the project. And here we actually have a couple integrations. So when I choose to add a file, of course, we have our own built-in integration where I can just attach a file from my computer. But we also have built-in connections with Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive. So I can actually open up this. It'll log me into my Google Drive account. And then I can go and I can select a file to attach right here. It's pretty much the same as just going and browsing through my computer and grabbing a general file to upload. Okay, so that's kind of some basic data. You're probably starting to get a feel for the types of information present here. But then really what we're going to start to move into is more around like the um, task management type capabilities so stepping into the, um, you know, the billing information as well. So what you'll see here is there's actually a built in calendar on the project itself. There's a tab just for the tasks, which you'll notice in this scenario is already completely filled up, which we're going to talk about templates in just a moment. But I do want to point out, you know, just having the general features to come in and put meetings onto the agenda and invite your fellow employees or even the customer. You can do, perform all this from inside of the app. And actually, if you're on either G Suite or Office 365, there's built in integrations. So we integrate the calendar. There's a two way sync there. We integrate email with just about everybody. So I can actually send emails from within the system. And we have this ID number, which performs conversation tracking. So all emails relevant to a project are pulled in here automatically. But then what we have is the more robust task capabilities inside of Aptiva. So even if you use like our G Suite task integration, inside of Aptiva, we have capabilities around dependencies and time tracking. And that's really the kind of the next area of functionality that we want to talk about, which is templates and activity management. Many project users, not everybody, but many people are using project management primarily to track their tasks and get all their activities organized together. So when it comes down to Aptivo project management and our activities, we've already started to see, yeah, there's a tab for tasks and there's a list of tasks. Every app in Aptivo actually has this task feature. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go to a different app. We're going to go to opportunities and I'll bring up a sales opportunity in my pipeline, completely unrelated to project management, but it has a very similar feel. And on this sales opportunity, you'll see it has a tab for tasks. But the key difference between the tasks everywhere in Aptivo, the simple feature, which you know I can just come to my homepage as well, and there's just a general place for me to create a task right here on the fly, no problem. But the project is designed to take many tasks and help manage them more tightly. So we can add a hierarchy, we can organize tasks into phases, and we can build dependencies so we can schedule tasks. That's the key thing that our project management does. And then it enables the time tracking, which is, you know, time tracking is the next step that we want to go look at. So if we step back into that project, well, any project really, we see that list of tasks. But in project management, there's a couple more tabs over here to help you manage these tasks. One of them is milestones. So what we allow you to do is you can create milestones, which are essentially you know, high level groupings of tasks. Each task can depend on one before it. And then you'll see it's simply just an organizational tool for these tasks. Each milestone, if you want to in the billing component, there is a piece of functionality there. But what you'll do is you'll visualize everything inside of this Gantt chart. So when I launched my project, I actually had a template built in ahead of time. So there's just this standard workflow I have of every time I'm doing like a, a school organization uh, staff photo shoot. And then there's this standard workflow. So of course, dates and times can change. And you'll notice that there's these lines, the dependencies between each one. So if you actually view one of our tasks that was already generated, it has an estimated duration of how long it'll take inside of the project schedule. And it has one or many tasks that it depends on. Now, based around that, the system is actually generating all of the dates for you. So let's say if one of these actually takes a little bit longer than anticipated, the system will go and shift the project schedule forward the appropriate amount. So that's kind of built in there. And then the way that I got these tasks built in ahead of time is the templating system. So of course, I can just come in here. I can make a change to one task, or I can add a brand new task in just for this project. 
I can go reassign it to another employee or add multiple employees as assignment. But when I want to go and prepare ahead of time, there's an area inside of the settings. Lots and lots of settings that you can control, but this is the big one around workflow called templates. So we can hop in here, we can manage one or many templates. And this is where I was able to go and define all my tasks and their dependencies and their timings ahead of time. So when it comes down to launching a project, it's simply a matter of selecting that template. So I come here and I'm able to pick my school staff photo shoot, and then it would go and populate all this field data. It would populate the proper team and generate all the appropriate tasks and workflow for me. Okay, so that's kind of a quick overview of how, what we have as far as the task management capabilities. Now, the last component that we want to talk about on this call is going to be around like time tracking and how to report on that time. And then the billing component, which, um, you know, about 30% of our users will go and invoice from the time that they track inside of their project. So let's flip back on over. And inside of the project, we'll go back to our Alameda. So we kind of skipped on over this money bag up here, the budget tab. Another thing I didn't show you is, although we talked about tasks, I didn't show you how you can track time against a task. So built into each one of these tasks, if we bring up the details of it, is your own little set of tools. Like if you are at this more granular level, let's say you have a very large team, each individual task actually has its own place to track uh, notes, files, and emails. So each task actually has its own history. But there's also a work log. So beyond just how much time is it taking up in the schedule, how many hours did I spend on this task? So you either have a built-in timer, which you just take in a note and it starts counting for you, or you can come in here after the fact and say, you know, I just spent two hours and take a quick note about what I worked on. So this way, one or many different people could log time against a task, and then this becomes billable time. But that all depends on the, the billing method for the project. So when you initiate a project, there's a uh, budget for it. And there's actually a couple different billing methods. I, I should show you from the create page. But when you come to the project, well, unless I've turned it off, oh, here we go. You have the project budget area, and then you'll see the couple different options that you have. So I can either do a non-billable, like an internal project. I can turn off this feature entirely, or I can do a flat rate project, phase-based billing, or hourly. So if I make this choice to do a time and expenses project, then I'll get that budget tab, and it'll start tracking the hours for me. So when I come onto this tab, oh, looks like I might have actually hidden it on mine. The idea is that it's going to show me all of the, um, the hours and such in real time. Because what you have is on this flow right here, I can actually generate a timesheet or in particular an invoice off of this. So if I've generated time inside of this project, I can actually create an invoice directly from the project. It would show me any tasks. So based on the billing type, it would either show me tasks or milestones. And then I can select which ones I would want to bill for, which okay, in this case, we could throw on just one of them or all of them. It'll be based on which items I've actually logged time against. So nothing's been completed yet. We'll just show all of them. There's some built-in functionality where you can choose to bill based off of estimated or actual time. But we'll leave everything on op open. And it takes us over to the invoicing app. So it just types in all of our details from the CRM for us. We would have any information about payment terms. And if we come down here, you'll see it's extracted our billing rate and our hours directly from inside of the project. We could make any modifications. So we can adjust hours or pricing, or we can add any sort of special notes right here. And then on the bottom, the system automatically generates an invoice, creates a PDF file, sends it off to the customer, and we've got some other built-in integrations like the ability to um, take a credit card payment and such from directly inside of the app. So this is all just kind of wrapped right into the platform. Quickly show you this. This is just like a simple invoice that gets spit out by the system. You'll have your own logo and everything like that. But yeah, that's just one of the optional items. Many people won't actually want to um, do their invoicing through Optivo, but you're still going to be doing your time tracking capabilities. So let's say even if I'm just tracking time, you still have reporting capabilities inside of the platform. So what you'll be able to do is I can come through and there's a few different areas in the system, but inside of this report zone right here, you could, for example, say, you know, give me a list of all tasks by employee or, you know, type of activity, and I can get an actual list and download this to a spreadsheet. 
you know, all everybody's individual notes and everything. Or maybe if you just want some counts around like hours spent. We've got some different reports like this, so you'll execute this, you can get how many hours that an employee spent on each project or how many hours were spent across each task in a project. And then these, like the others, were uh, exportable out to CSV or XLS. But yeah, so that gives you a quick kind of feel for what's available inside of the Aptivo project management system. So if you're looking for any further information, feel free to reach out to us on the sales team or reach out to our YouTube channel. It's just youtube.com forward slash Aptivo, and we'll be happy to help you out.